Daddy said they want to go gold panning. Gold. That should be cool. I agree. What do you do? We're the Tachi family, and we love exploring the world together and finding fun new things to do. We had planned an exciting summer of travel, but unfortunately, we had to postpone our plans for another time. But like they say, when one door closes, another opens. Fortunately, adventure wasn't too far away, and we decided to explore our beautiful home state of California. After yesterday's amazing day at Calaveras Big Tree State Park, we decided to continue the fun and try our hand at the very thing that gave Gold Country its fascinating history. Mommy and Daddy decided that the best way for us to get the full experience was to do as the miners did and pan for gold. So we headed to the historic boomtown of Columbia. But first... Good morning! All right, Paul, tell me how crucial it is to have coffee in the morning. <laughs> how much has your coffee intake up since having kids? Yes, um, it has gone from maybe one coffee every other day to several cups per day. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little too much. <laughs> Cheers. After getting our pans, we headed out to the long troughs that were filled with the sediment from a nearby river. The idea of panning is to scoop sediment into your pan, then shake it in order to get the high density material, such as gold, to settle to the bottom and bring the lighter material, such as soil, to the surface. I found a lot of gems. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. After panning for gold, we explored the rest of Columbia State Historic Park. This open-air museum showcases about 30 well-preserved buildings that were built during the Gold Rush era in the 1850s. Many of these buildings are fully functional. There was a candy store, souvenir shop, blacksmith, restaurant, hotel, and saloon. I got a bottle opener, forged, my turn, and my a dinner turn. bell. My turn. My turn. Daddy. Daddy. Which one did you get a sarsaparilla? Yeah, let's do it. Sarsaparilla, a preparation of the dried rhizomes of various plants, especially Smilax, used to flavor some drinks and medications informally as a tonic. Basically, a soft drink that tastes like root beer.
what's up? Well, now we're here at the pool, we're just chilling. We didn't strike gold like we thought we would. We got some pretty cool gemstones, and it, overall, it was a really awesome experience. So I just left Paul at the pool with the kids, um, and we decided to order Mexican food because we're just so tired. We don't want to cook. Um, gosh, I feel like I say that like all the time. We're just so tired. But it's true because what do you expect? I mean, we're running after four really energetic kids all day. So uh, we decided to take it easy, just order some Mexican food, which I'm really excited about. And uh, I'll bring it back home and then we'll hopefully have an early night because I am tired. You don't? don't like it? You don't like it? Why not? I don't like it. You don't. Hamilton's awake. Just wanted to check in on him. Hamilton. This is one of our hamsters. Oop. Hamilton. Where'd you go, buddy? Hello, everyone. Today we're gonna do something about the hamster. Um. There's Burster and there's Hamilton and his wheel. And Burster sleeping. So, let me show you. Ava, hello. Hello, Ava. Hello, Michaela. So, we had a great day today. She is sunscreen. Here's Couch. <laughs> Hello, Couch. Bye, I hope you liked my video.